Uh, well, hi again, and we are back looking at Mark's Gospel. Um, just to remind you, uh, Mark wrote down the story of Jesus, um, but much of the material was gained from Peter, the disciple. Uh, and so it was kind of like first-hand information that Mark had to write his uh, storyline. Um, so today we're looking at Jesus and his disciples once again on Lake Galilee, Sea of Galilee, um, up the top there. And we're going to start from verse 45, which says, Immediately Jesus made his disciples get into the boat and go ahead of him to Bethsaida, while he dismissed the crowd. Uh, after leaving them, he went up on the mountainside to pray. Uh, again, Jesus is setting aside some time to go and pray after ministry at the end of the day. Uh, later that night, the boat was in the middle of the lake and he was alone um, on the land. And he saw the disciples straining at the oars because the wind was against them. Shortly before dawn, he went out to them walking on the lake. He was about to pass them by. Um, Sorry, I've lost. He was about to pass them by. Um, but when they saw him walking on the lake, they thought he was a ghost. And they cried out because they all saw him and were terrified. Immediately he spoke to them and said, take courage. It is I. Don't be afraid. Then he climbed into the boat with them, and the wind died down. They were completely amazed, for they had not understood about the loaves. Uh, their hearts were hardened. Um, so let's uh, think about this little part of the story. We'll carry on in the second part in a moment. Um, we can see that the disciples are trying to be obedient to Jesus, because Jesus says, go before me to the other side. Um, and we can all come to this place where we are trying to go forward, but we end up being hindered. They were trying to do what Jesus told them to do. They were crossing over the lake, but they got hindered by the wind uh, on the lake. And so that happens to us sometimes. Maybe we think we're, we should be going and doing something for God. And perhaps sickness or discouragement or lack of personal strength just stops us, just hinders us from getting to where we believe God wants us to be. Um, it is at this place where we begin to wonder whether if this really was the course we were supposed to take. Um, and we question if we really should be doing this. That We kind of think that if God tells us to do something, it's going to be easy. And of course, you know, God wants to do that. Yes, of course, we'll do that. And uh, he'll just make a way for us to get through it and all be fine. Uh, and when it's not, we start questioning, well, perhaps this is not why, what God wanted us to do. Why is it so hard to do this if God wants us to do it? Uh, and maybe you've even known God lead you to do this thing. Just as the disciples, Jesus said to them, go across the other side to Bethsaida. Um, what was happening then? Why uh, they were trying rather to do it alone was the problem. They were trying to do this in their own strength. Yes, Jesus will go across and they're running across, they're sailing across to get to the other side and they're not achieving anything. The wind was against them. And Jesus was te teaching them that, you know, you need me with you. And uh, so he walks out. We're told after this time of prayer, he goes out uh, in, the, in early hours and he goes out and walks on the water and he goes and he looks as though he will pass them by. And so at that point, they kind of have a choice. Um, and either they can go on their own, or they can have Jesus in the boat to take them through where he asked them to go. And how many times do we think we know what God wants us to do, but then decide that we will do it alone? Okay, yes, I know what you told me to do, so I'm just going to do I am just going to do it. And God wants us to invite him to go with us. So when God says, will you do this ministry? He, we want, he asked us, he wants us to ask him to be, to be in on it as well. Not just that we do it alone. 
um, and we can't do it alone. Uh, so let's just carry on through now uh, on verse 53. When they crossed over, they landed at Gennesaret and anchored there. As soon as they got out of the boat, people recognized Jesus. They ran throughout the whole region and carried uh, those who were ill on mats to wherever they heard he was. And wherever he went, into villages, towns or countryside, they placed those who were ill in the marketplaces. They begged him to let them touch even the edge of his cloak, and all who touched it were healed. Mm. Although they were heading to Bethsaida, they actually anchored at Genesaret. Um, so they were going to go over this side. But they actually, Genesaret's not on here, but it was actually, um, it's just up from Capernaum. It's just up here. Uh, and so when they landed, we don't know why they landed there in the end, but when they landed, the crowds came because they were quite near Capernaum. And uh, people heard where Jesus was and they just ran around um, the uh, half a mile or whatever it was uh, around to the next town where Jesus was. And lots of people were healed. And, you know, we can sense God call us and he wants us you know, to get from A to B and he wants us to be in a certain place. And, and sometimes hindrances come and maybe we start to think, I can't do this. And that is right. That's the truth. I can't do this. You can't do this. The disciples could sail, um, couldn't sail to get to the place where Jesus wants them to go until they took him on board with them. And God has to be with us if we are going to carry out what he wants us to do. And whatever you are doing for God, don't leave him out of the boat. Uh, so let's pray now. Father God, thank you uh, for who you are. Thank you for these wonderful events that we can read of now. Uh, and we want to worship you because you are our great God and you have some wonderful adventures for us to be involved in. You have some wonderful ministries to be a, to be a part of. And you call us and let us be ready to go wherever you send us. But may we never forget to take you on the journey too. In Jesus name. Amen. Great to be with you again. We will see you soon. God bless you.